Hey guys. Today, we have a special video. I am going to Kentucky. <laughs> Ew, not me eating so much Taco Bell last night that wasn't even from last night. It was from two nights ago. I microwaves like an old burrito. Oh, uh, okay, I don't want to talk about it. I'm going to Kentucky today with Shake Shack. They have this new menu item called the Bourbon Bacon Cheddar Cheeseburger. Me and Dora, my little sister, are going to Kentucky. Going to the Maker's Mark Distillery, eating just Shake Shack for three days. I left my camera charger at my friend Molly's house. I left it in like this like basement area of her apartment. And I went yesterday and the entire basement had just been demolished. I ordered a charger to my hotel in Kentucky. We're gonna see if that ends up being a successful endeavor. Wish me luck. I will bring Bring my camera with me for as much as I can of this. See you in a bit. Oh my god, this is insane. <laughs> okay, I think it's really important that I preface this video. I don't think I've ever used more devices in one video like it literally goes from this camera to a landscape of an iphone back to this camera and then this way and then to some like awful quality vlog camera so it's really funny <laughs> it's like the messiest vlog i've ever made and i'm gonna do better next time but i think it needs to be addressed enjoy about to die but we made it Woo they left me a cute little letter oh my god I was on the toilet and someone ratted and dropped two chocolates and then ran out because they were like <sighs> bourbon bacon cheddar burger and this is our little disposable it looks for really it. yummy with little bags customized I with our little me. initials a fan we have some chocolates. We, we have, have cute a... little visors. They, they gave you breakfast. I mean, they get, wait, like, whoa. We took our breakfast orders because they're gonna bring us breakfast on Wednesday. Here's my new visor. Soon we're gonna go into the, lo into the lobby, <laughs> Every time I move. meet up with everyone, <laughs> and go have some drinks with the team. I have no idea who's here. I have no idea what to expect. All I know is that I'm so excited to try this burger. And we're probably just gonna end up getting sloshed. I <laughs> should, we, should we drink this right now? As a celebratory welcome? We? Yeah. Maker's Mark Whiskey. Move over, you always. Dora, do you feel like an influencer? From all <laughs> Oh, oh, Elsie, I don't think I'm gonna like this. <laughs> this looks so good. It smells so good. It's bourbon. Mm. I love the smell. Oh, lovely. Cheers. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> it's, it'll be easier once I'm already like a little. Should we chase it with a bourbon snack? You know what? I'm gonna be honest. I don't really like smoky things. Oh, I look unwell. Okay, I'm just gonna go over the itinerary. Monday, 4.45, meet in the lobby. Shuttle departs for happy hour. Welcome drinks at Shake Shack Lexington. And then we have a dinner at Lockbox at 7.30. Tuesday, we meet in the lobby. Tuesday, that's tomorrow. How cute is this? We take a shuttle to the Maker's Mark Distillery and they are gonna give us gourmet lunch boxes. <laughs> Private tour and activities at the Maker's Mark Distillery. Curated dining experience and entertainment. And then we come back. And then we leave. Sounds like a pretty good little getaway to me.
Life's like a road that you travel on. There's one day here and the next day gone. Sometimes you bend, sometimes you stand, sometimes you turn your back to the wind. There's a world outside every darkened door where blues won't haunt you anymore. We just went and got drinks at the Shake Shack. I hopefully get my charge tomorrow. I'm having the best time. I already ate so much chicken and fries. Oh my god, I had the craziest milkshake. It was like a bourbon vanilla milkshake thing. We got a little tipsy at the Shake Shack Kentucky. And we made friends and we DJ'd in the in the bus on the way back to the hotel. The next day. What are we doing, Dora? Going to make us more distillery. My, my camera charger didn't get here in time. It was two stops away when we left the hotel. So we're using this. Almost there. Are we? I think so. Can you believe it? We're here. Sustainable circle. Here we are. If you go back early 1800s, hey Laura, throw up, throw up vibes, throw up vibes, throw up check, twice check. Whoa. It smells how pasta smells when you put it in the strainer, then all the steam like goes up your nose and you smell like the beans. That's kind of how it smells in here. Look at these bubbles. We're in one of 49 warehouses that Makers has. All the labels for Makers are cut right here in this. There you go, pull it out. Turn it on its side, give it a couple little spins. There you go, there you go. All right, ready? Right. That's it. Yay! Thank you. Hot dogs oh, uh, nice. wrapped in uh, potato bread. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. This looks so good. I'm still a squirrel and sour. Yeah, yeah, because the food of Boston is so bad. I was like, so. Like, man. I don't have my phone, but I like need to get it in the rest <laughs> Goat strat salad, there's some herbs, there's a little bit of champagne that it's cooked with, uh, there's a little mousse that's made with the smoke trap. Oh, that in the video? Oh my god. Uh, Charger didn't get here until yesterday night is when I got it, so I missed everything on my beautiful camera. Did we have the best time ever? Yes. Yeah, we had so much fun. Hi, Kentucky. I love you. Oh my gosh, what about my car, these? What about... That's oversized metal. penguin and the blue horse. Me and Dora decided that we were going to see an oversized penguin and a blue horse exactly five months ago to the date. Completely forgot that we ever said it and then literally just had this light bulb moment of like, oh my god, we are surrounded by blue horses in the state of, or in the city of Lexington. Oversized like, penguins everywhere was like thing the thing of, of our hotel. hotel. And we didn't know that we were going to be in Lexington. That wasn't like a thing. Wait, what? what? She was like, she was like, anything you say, you manifest, it'll come. It was a sign. I feel like, like it's like we're right where we need to be, type thing. I think so. I, I think hope it's so. Necessary. She was driving last Friday on her way to Cincinnati. All the worst people I know are from Ohio. <laughs> Several days later. We are in the kitchen. We run into some slight problems cooking in this kitchen because it's an electronic stove. It takes like 35 minutes to boil water. Like I tried to make mac and cheese the other night and it was just like, we're gonna do tagliatelle, ragu bonnets. First off, look how cute. This is the tagliatelle ragu bolognese. Bring a large pot of water to a boil. And then it's gonna be like three hours later. Uh huh. Oh god. Come on. What the? F oh, would you look at that? The kettle is about to be done boiling. Looks beautiful. 
It smells so fresh. I think it was made like yesterday because I got this from this place in Brooklyn. So it must have been made and just sent right over. Add a generous amount of salt and give it a taste. The water should taste like a well-seasoned soup, not too salty. Like, okay, so I've never been able to understand, like even when I was little, people who would just oh my god it would like and like if my friends parents did it or like my friends at home or whatever if we're in the kitchen i was like i'm making us the food if we want like a snack or like back in the day when i first like tried weed in high school i don't smoke weed anymore i like can't do it i'll have a panic attack but like if we had like munchies or whatever i'm like i'm cooking you know when people would just get like the the packet of the pasta and then strain it completely not using any of like the pasta water or anything and then just like pour heated up like tomato sauce on top i'm like or i'm like no but like that's how some people just eat pasta i'm like that's not right like it has to like come together you know because i just it i just like knew better somehow like like add a little bit of like cream in there like add some cheese as you're cooking it like make the sauce your own even like the store-bought sauce <sighs> that's my feelings on it okay there's a rind in there this is just me like passing the time shooting the shit while I wait for the fucking water to boil and it's been like a while now oh this is starting to bubble though look Nice. Every time I say the word nice, I think of that TikTok of, oops, the guy on chicken shop day, and he's like, nice. After he like does the wrap. My roommate is like about to be home and she's like a very proud Italian. And I know she's gonna see this and be like, Elsie, what the fuck are you doing? This is a disgrace. I really have to impress her because she makes like really good bolognese and i'm not that i don't think it's a spectacular idea but i am making bolognese out of a plastic bag so we'll see dude Roommate is home. Julia, Julia with a G-I, spelt the Italian way. Will you help me with this a little bit? Sure. Dude, I'm so nervous about this bolognese. That's a bolognese. It's like a ragu. I knew you would have something to <laughs> Sorry. say about it. I told them ahead of time, I was like, my roommate is coming home and she's gonna judge me. You see what I mean? I knew. Okay. Mm. Yum. We have our finished bolognese that I worked so hard and uh, um, uh, this is the bolognese that I reduced and cooked for over six hours, actually overnight in fact, homemade fresh pasta that I made and it actually looks delicious so we're gonna try it. That's just me being I'll see it. God, I hope you like these angles. Are you hungry? Oh, I'm starving. Okay. Ooh. Minute. <laughs> it's so good. It tastes like the La Scala bolognese that we were obsessed with when we oh were younger. Oh my god, it does. Except I know that it's not al dente enough for you. I know that you love al dente and I know that that's what you're thinking and I'm sorry. <laughs> I love that you do that exactly. It's okay. I know I blame it on you the wanna, stove. It is the, it is the stove. Dude, yum. This is like some mukbang type shit. And eating, and eating, and eating. Mmm! Very pleasantly surprised by this place. I'm like, I don't know if they have it as a restaurant or if it's just like delivery, but it's fucking bomb. No, it's super smart and super cute. Finny! I loved it. Hi! <laughs> Oops.